Good day, everybody. First, let me congratulate Automobile Electronic and the organizers and many speakers before me for arranging this event in spite of the current challenges that we have. Today, I would like to speak to you about the software integration and its importance in the journey from feature prototype to production. Hopefully, by the end of this session, we understand why the criticality of software integration is in increasing today more than ever. My name is Anup and I am Chief Technical Officer of KPIT Technologies. KPIT Technologies has delivered hundreds of software integration projects successfully for many automotive customers across the globe for over the last 15 years. All of us know that in today's automobile, the innovation happens mostly through software. Software drives the functionality and usability of the features, but also has to deliver reliability, robustness, responsiveness, the three R's, and fast extendability, not compromising the three R's. Most of you will agree with me that designing an algorithm and testing it for functionality is one thing, but making it ready to be deployed inside the vehicle is something else altogether. Today, especially in the software dominant issues, the features are added much after the hardware architecture is frozen, and hence it becomes very difficult to achieve the right balance in defining the upper and lower limits of the hardware specs. The upper end being constrained by the cost of ECU and the lower end by number of features we would like to be delivered. This balancing act between cost and performance gives rise to the competency of software integration. Throwing excess compute capability and memory can solve some problems related to performance, like the enterprise world of software has done, but this strategy has limited use in an automotive world. In the vehicle, increasing the cost of hardware that deploys the software increases the cost of vehicle. Multiply this with millions of vehicles produced per year, and this becomes a big number which cannot be ignored. The pursuit to reduce the cost of hardware and software, even if it is one euro less per car, is never going to go away. This makes automotive software different than enterprise software, and the software integration remains a critical step in development process for optimization. Another challenge is the movement towards the heavy compute architecture. As we move to a heavy central compute hardware, we will deal with significantly large number of features on a single hardware, and this will further widen the gap between estimates of how many features versus how much of the hardware resources. Things will become more difficult to predict. Though there will be less issues to manage, the integration efforts for the single heavy compute issue will increase multifold as a result. Third challenge is the emergence of the heterogeneous system on the chip. Most of the issues in the vehicle are special purpose microcontrollers. Over the time, we have seen the shift to application processing cores and multi-core architectures. In the heavy compute architecture, we will have microcontrollers, the application cores, the GPUs, the neural compute cores, and sometimes also the FPGAs. It is very difficult to create a single software implementation that can use all these architectural options effectively. Most of the times, the application will need to know on what technology it will be deployed and the code will have to be significantly tailored to take advantage of this architectural choice. Virtualization as a concept is taking shape to solve some of these challenges, but I believe that virtualization will deal with solving only some of the problems of integration, which will mostly be related to software functionality testing being left shifted. So to summarize, Software will drive the future of the vehicle and non-functional demands of the vehicle and cost pressures will continue to keep software integration as a critical part of the development process. Second, heavy compute architectures will reduce total integration efforts since number of issues will go down, but the integration challenges per issue will increase. And last but not the least, multiple heterogeneous compute architectures will further increase the complexity of integration. Looks like software integration as a competency is here to stay as a movement to the heavy compute architecture start. It is important for engineering teams to acknowledge the increase in its complexity and plan accordingly. Thank you very much.